Today's the day. Taz with Lori, man. Lately, whenever I try, everything I say makes her impatient, like she didn't want to hear it after all. It's like she's pissed at me all the time. I mean, I don't know why. Look, man, that's just shit couples go through. You know, it's a, it's a phase. Last thing she said this morning. Sometimes I wonder if you even care about us at all. She said that in front of our kid. Imagine going to school with that in your head. The difference between men and women. I would never act cruel to her. Certainly not in front of Carl. Yo, it's your boy Joe McDonald. It would be absolutely awesome to spend a day at her owners. Edward, it's Darren. Me and a few of the boys are going to Arona's house to see the remains. Go to her owners. Is that what you're saying to me? Is that what you mean? Is that what you're going to have tonight? Are you in? Yes. Bobby, it's Jay. Are you up for going to Arona's house to see the damage? What about our trip to San Francisco then? Forget San Francisco. Are you up for coming with me, Darren, Joe, Edward and Ains? Why is Ains coming? How did you convince him to come with you? You coming, Ains? Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? It was simple, really. So, Bobby, are you coming? See you later, Annie, Mama, Bye. Bye. Bubba, Bye. Jim, Big Jim, Bye. Little Jim, Slim Jim, Bye. everybody. Bye. I'll see you later, Chow Ding. Okay. All right. I still think we should invite him. Even though I know you two don't get along, I still like him, and he's coming. So call him. Hey you. You wanting to come with me, Darren and a few others to visit the charred remains of Arona's house? Yes! Yes! Yes!
Is everyone excited? This house is going to be awesome. I'm going to have so much fun. Ready? <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm not, I'm not uncomfortable with it. It's extraordinary. You excited, Bruce? Stupid. Fucking hell. Sorry. Well, they say that the price of cigarettes is going up, and uh, it's going to be very expensive to keep on smoking, folks. But I quit. I quit on August the 6th, 1985. 24 years ago this coming August and I want to tell you how I did it because a lot of you want to quit smoking and here's the SHUT UP uh -oh. if you could say anything to Arona what would it be I want to say I want to say, bitch, you mean to tell me you've been cooking your entire life. You are still too damn stupid to learn how to turn off a oven. A switch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to actually say that, though. You know. Jay, what the fuck was that? Sounded like it came from upstairs. Leave me alone. Listen, whoever you are, I don't mind telling you, I'm a little concerned in here. Leave me. What's your name? Sure. This is your property, and we will respect that. Where is everybody? Well, what are we going to have tonight? See, a plate of crispy calamari. And have a salad? Is that what you're saying to me? And I got the recipe. I'm going to share that with you now. Now, very, very simple. Now, what we've got to do is... I'm going to add about 6 ounces, 175 grams of self-raising flour. Kill you. What? <laughs> dark up here. Very dark up here. Oh, it goes up into the lot. What? What the hell is up there? No way. Where is everybody? Yeah, hello, how you doing? Hello, hello, hello. I actually feel like there's someone up there. I'm not even joking. I'm, I cannot... I can't do this alone. This is freaky AF. This is freaky AF.
Bruce, what are you doing? Where the fuck is everyone? Bruce? Perfect. That's okay. And uh, just sort of stack those up, pile those up, and nonchalant the way out like that. There we are. And then serve that with the little wedges of lemons and limes. It's really amazing. Where is everyone? for a bit of a treat. I'm gonna start off with a I see meat. That's it. and reveal that juicy flesh inside. And a trait fruit, and a trait fruit, and a trait fruit, and a trait fruit, and a trait fruit. Really work that meat together. Lovely. And now comes the interesting part. Let your fingers get in there and have a good old root. <laughs> you know there ain't no way I'm going back in that house. I'm sure the others will leave once they hear that voice. Yeah, let's just get back to the car. Ashley? Told you about her. Oh, in excruciating detail. Excruciate my ass. Used to live for those details back in the day. Yeah, I, I was impressionable. <laughs> and I may have been living vicariously through you. Well, why wouldn't you? My impressive list of accomplishments. I was an artist in his prime. Protege. You mean prodigy? Maybe. Prodigy, what you call young. High school stud bangs 30-year-olds on the regular? Hmm? What 30-year-old were you banging in high school? Mr. Jagger? <laughs> the math teacher? Wasn't he married? Oh, come on. You know what I just remembered? Why well, I never asked you about this stuff. Why don't we talk about your high school love life then, huh? Yeah, well, that's a short conversation. It may even already be over. Isn't that right? Who's Louise? Right? Nope, that was me too. <laughs> and there was, uh, there was Sasha. When you lied to me about, I never lied about Sasha. That was you. And I cannot. I can't do this alone. This is freaky AF. This is freaky AF. This is just two rooms I've not been in: that attic and the basement. The basement. <laughs> wow, then after you stop eating it, you'll smoke. So you reach in your pocket, pull out a cigarette. I said, what could I put in my pocket here? 
that when I reach in, I can find something to keep my mouth busy. And guess what it is? Sunflower seeds. <laughs>
God damn cowboy. You look like shit. Just slightly. That's perfect. This food tastes like shit. Ah, what about that? You, you don't you prefer the Oboreo or what?